Greetings, loves. Welcome to a Soul Search. Make sure you click that like, share, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and make sure you click that notification bell. Okay, I got a lot of things I would like to share with you guys. Um, so make sure you subscribe and make sure you have that notification on. Now, real quick, I want to just this story here with the guy. <laughs> With the guy who had the girlfriend, I guess I'm going to go ahead and pull the story up. Um, she, they had, oh gosh, I just, I don't know. Well, he was chasing around in the parking lot. Sound familiar? Mm -hmm. And he, you know, had his little pow pow. Uh and then he, you know, he laid her down. Now they were dating and they had started having some issues and she, the police was called a lot where they used to stay and she moved. And shortly after moving, she felt like she needed to get a restraining order and she went to get one, but I guess she just kind of didn't want to go through with it. And so neither one of them showed up. And when that happens, it's dropped. Um, and then, you know, this happened. Okay. So I came over here because I saw a little couple of seconds and, you know, then you read the caption and it's like, one thing I can't stand <laughs> is looking at something and getting nothing. And if you got a little video and, you know, you get, you, you know, you get my mouth all watered up for that orange juice, <laughs> Harlem Nights. Just letting the younger people know. This is a clue where you can get that movie quote. <laughs> and I don't get that orange juice. <laughs> I'm not going to be happy. That's why I don't be, I don't even just, I just keep scrolling. I don't even stop. I go right where I need to go. Just like I'm in a grocery store. Do what I need to do when I be up out of there. Okay. So, I, I, I found the video this time, right? Um... <sighs> I'm going to play the audio, but it was a comment that made me turn my phone on. It was a comment that made me turn my phone on. Uh, it didn't have no profile picture on here. I reshared it. Recorded it, retweeted it, whatever the heck. X, I re-X'd it. I re-X'd it. So, I don't want to lose this feed, so I don't want to go to my profile. But basically what the clown was saying, okay, here we go. So neither person showed up for the hearing and he got fur like rabbit fur. I don't know. Y'all need to tighten up with your um, spelling and everything, uh, regardless of where you at. I know people say, oh, it's just social media. Well, you know, <sighs> no. Mm -mm. Okay, it says, but it's just dismissed. So she was evidently still alive then but you would not think wait neither person is here for the hearing about a restraining order surely to f-u-c-k a wellness check is in order at the very least okay so he's clearly talking to the cops yeah you want some bot shit right tell me you trolling tell me you trolling because i'm gonna tell you guys as much as I need to, every chance that I get, the police are not here to protect you. The police are not here to serve you. Okay. And one thing they so not going to do, they're not going to come run you down to beg you to finish what you, I guess, thought you wanted to start. So let's say you go down there. Oh, I need to get a shame. And, you know, they lay like, here, give you the paperwork, you fill it out, you file it, and you get a court date. Okay, you you not coming back? Are they not showing up? Oh, okay. In the back of their minds, they probably thinking, both of them didn't come. Either y'all got back together or, you know, you he probably did what you feared. And they just wait. 
they're gonna forget about you pretty much but you know they'll they'll wait they'll say we'll see i guess eventually what happened either they got back together or yeah he went ahead and took her out that's all that's it and they do not care when I older, they're not going to lose a bit of sleep. They're not going to think about you during lunchtime. Go home and the wife be like, what's wrong, honey? No, they don't care. Okay? And I don't care if you don't like what I'm saying. I'm just telling you what you need to know. Because, you know, playtime been done. All right? So, here's another thing I want to say. Um, to just to all the women and young ladies out here, because y'all, y'all, I want to say a whole nother breed, but, and that's kind of true when it refers to me, I'm not going to speak for my whole generation or my age range. I'm just going to talk about myself and it's okay if you don't understand it or you feel offended, you just pay attention to what I'm saying to you. Okay. We passed that. That was just me flexing. Okay. You, you guys, it's, it's, I'm seeing things that I've never seen before. So let me try and, uh, you know, give you some advice that I feel like you should take. And you know what? I'm not going to be nice. I'm not going to be sweet. I'm going to be petty. I'm going to be condescending. And the rest is up to you. Even if you don't even finish listening, that's still up to you because you know what? We, the, where we are today in this world, you need to get past all that, okay? You need to get past all that and don't be worried about things you don't need to be worried about. It doesn't matter how you feel about the tone in my voice, <laughs> you know, any anything else that you're like, oh, I don't like that bitch. Or, you know, oh, whatever, girl, bye. Because, you know, y'all will do that quickly. And in case you haven't paid attention to my channel over here, in case you haven't paid attention, I give none. <laughs> like, it don't bother me at all. So you should have figured out a long time ago that I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. You should have. You should have. Because let me, let me tell you all what it, how it would be if another chick was getting like, Pretty much the responses and reactions that I typically get, you know, over here. And that could be a wide range between a no comment, a no comment in the chat, or, you know, some slick shit, or a critique. And that's cool. I'm I'm good with those. But just like you think you dissent or you want to be disrespectful or you want to be racist and disrespectful or, you know, y'all just be like, I don't know. I guess you got a <laughs> United band to say, don't, don't comment. Don't comment. Don't hit the like. Don't do nothing. Just keep it moving. You know, bitch, this ain't new. <laughs> I've been on YouTube since what? 2000 and freaking, I don't know, eight or something like that. So yeah, any other chick will be like. I don't know, the twerking and naked as whatever, whatever it takes to get your attention because she got to have it. Like, oh my God, they don't like my videos. Oh my God, I'm not popular. Oh my God, and this and that and the third. I don't care about none of that. <laughs> I, I don't care about, I'm completely unfazed. Okay, completely unfazed. Where my head be at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You can't, you can't even imagine. You can't even imagine. And this show ain't worried about how the hell much y'all doing with other people be trying to get other people to do on their pages. Okay? So, with that being said, you need to try to get like me. Okay? I ain't saying be like me. I'm just saying trying to be more like me. As far as everything I just explained to you. Oh, a whole lot more too. But... Just focus on that right now. Okay? Focus on that. Because I'm going to tell you something. Everybody's at war. Whether they think so or not. Whether they understand it or not. But I'm going to tell you something as a woman. It doesn't matter your culture, your nationality, your light skin, your dark skin. But we all know this is a 
especially for black women, okay? Especially for black women. And if there's anybody who feel a way about that, I don't care either. I don't even care to say that, but I'm just letting y'all know since, you know, <laughs> since I'm, you know, not just doing it. I'm just going to throw that in there. But you're going to have to tighten up, sis. Okay. Y'all, the way y'all moving and shaking out here, it's not that kind of life no more. Okay. It's not that kind of life no more. You can hear more of her story. Whatever is put out there. And in fact, I'm going to pull it up here in a second and read what I find. It's fresh. It just happened. So I ain't no telling how much is put out there. But y'all know better than I do how this went. You understand? I don't because I ain't the one that's doing it. This is this has never been my situation. I'm almost 50 years old. So, I got a head start. I got a little practice. It, it ain't nothing new. Let me tell you the number one thing I don't do. I don't even begin to think about entertaining someone, especially a male, who I know ain't no good for me. And he don't even got to be necessarily no good for me. But I don't, I don't, I might not necessarily know that. And I, it, it doesn't matter. It's not something I need to ponder. Because I know whether or not this is somebody that I truly want and need. If I wanted to, need to get to know would this be good for me would this be beneficial for me okay and this ain't no class so i'm just kind of keeping it on the surface but i'm i'm trying to get you to understand you know put some words in you so you can try and ponder on it and figure out how you can try to change your mindset and therefore change your actions because if you need something and it's got to come from outside of you. You got a problem. Okay, you got a problem. I don't care what what, what your response is. Okay, because if you were under my mentorship or we were in a class and I say this to you and you have a response, I'm going to shut you down. That's where we at now with this. Okay. And yes, I do be out here mentoring. And this is where I'm at with it. I'm not going to go. We, I'm not going to hear what you say and then try to explain it to you. I say what I said. And that's how serious it is. And that's where we at with it. Okay. If you need something outside of yourself. That's a problem. And you need to figure out how to fix it. I don't care. What nobody or nothing is saying to you in society, that's what they supposed to do. And it don't got nothing to do with what's good for you. Anything outside of you, don't trust it. Anything outside of you, question it. Don't just say, yeah, you know, that's my that's my cousin. That's my mama. You know, they care about me. Okay, let's say they do. That don't mean they know what they're talking about. That don't mean that they know what's right for you or they know what's right for you right now. We're not there anymore. You need to be in a position to where you can 100% rely on and take care of you. And I'm not talking about being an independent woman and paying your bills. We deeper than that. Okay. If you wake up or go to sleep and feel like. You want a dude to look at you. You want a dude to pay you some attention. You want him to smile at you. You want him to hug you. You want him to, you know, you want to feel some intimacy. Or you want other girls to give you some validation or hang out with you. Or whatever it is that people get from other people in society. I'm a different breed. More so than you know.
then you need to work on that. Okay? Where we are right now, you know, that's a that's an afterthought. And it don't even have to be a thought. I mean, if you're in a situation where you can spare a little time and that's healthy for you and that's progressive for you. And they understanding what you understanding and y'all elevating, you know. But don't, 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 don't get comfortable. Matter of fact, don't even sit down. Don't take your shoes off. You know, you in and out. Okay, because you don't got time for that. You're going to have to not retrain you, yourself, because you was never properly trained. Not for this world. I don't know what you was trained for. You was trained for death and destruction. And you're not going to debate me on this. And you, you can't question me on this. You can, dis, you can disagree and disbelieve me and go your way. I don't care. But the truth is... <laughs> In existence. From whatever time that you can say that you can successfully go back and research to now. You ain't seen nothing that gives you anything that you can properly debate me on what I'm saying. Nothing. I don't want to hear nothing about what. Somebody else said or what y'all trying to say We was kings and queens I don't do that king queen stuff You know I'm not going to say I have it We ain't talking about that I say I don't do that king and queen stuff I'm not calling you a king You ain't got to call me no queen Don't even do that Matter of fact if you hey, What you doing queen I'm in Atlanta So <laughs> you already know If you approach me thinking you got to figure it out The right way to address me And you say queen yeah, I'm not, I ain't got time to be like, well, you know, he just, he trying to be respectful. Listen, I don't got no excuses for you. I don't got nothing for you. Literally nothing. I don't care. I feel nothing. I'm completely uninterested. There is absolutely nothing for me. Nothing for me here. I will carry on. And you should get, you should get it. You should understand it. You should respect it. And when they don't, that even further confirms it for you that you was right. You ain't got to second guess yourself. You don't owe nobody no explanations. You don't owe nobody no apologies. You don't owe nobody no sweetness, no niceness. The days are over. You don't have to be polite. Okay, <laughs> this is not finishing school, it's not etiquette school, it's not private school, none of that. Can't nobody paddle you, put you in the corner and no shit like that. You are of your own body and mind. That's not for you. You keep it moving. You don't have no energy for it. And if they don't understand why you keeping it moving, that's a problem with them. You just make sure you are focusing on safety. And you get to the, your next destination. That's where we at. In case you don't know. That's where we at. Any kind of energy coming my way. Especially being in Atlanta. That I know. Is not good energy. And I'm thankful. Because I am blessed. <laughs> I'm real good at it. I'm real good at it. I can feel it without even raising my head. I can feel the heat on me in, in, in a huge open location. And I can just guess, even at a numbers of over 20, how many are focused on me. Because that's just something that has been my life. All right. And then I can also feel the energy of how many are plotting on their plans, on their path to approach me. And what I feel already from just knowing that, I already know what to do. 
if it's oh gosh, I know T can get ready to come over here. Then already know how to deal with it. It's complete rejection. And I'm letting them know. I am not playing. I am not playing. And I'm not going to be nasty. I don't even have to say anything. I'm just going to be me. But my energy is going to speak for itself alone. Unfortunately, I'm the type of person where <laughs> it don't matter. For some people, that will entice them even more. Especially because guys like pursue they like competition they want to conquer and this is some guys i mean i'm in atlanta so yeah, it could go either way <laughs> but they don't they don't you know respect how they don't give up easy you know is i don't know what they taught i don't know which what part of the game is that or whatever i don't even care because i'm in security mode the whole time this situation we looking at right now, I'm not outraged. And this is why I'm here talking to you like this. I ain't, it, don't even try to figure none of that out. You, you, you're either gonna feel me or you're not. You either gonna understand this is real and this message is for me right now or you're not. I don't care. You might be like, man, she, whatever. Ain't nobody got time for that. And one day you might be like, hey, wasn't she, there was a chick? And you might find my video again. I don't know. I'm just doing whatever I do. That's, that's what I do. <laughs> eh, that's why I don't give a fuck about all that. You bigging me up in the comment section or liking or you disagree with what I'm saying. Or you call yourself trying to downplay my channel or whatever. Bitch. This is where it's at. You over there getting rocked to sleep. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. But yeah. This guy walks up to her. Chase her around. Pop her right there and dead in her face. And he ain't worried about it. And the people around her ain't worried about it either. I mean the lady in the window was recording. Hey. Good for her. You know, maybe he'll go to court and we all, we ain't got to have that conversation. You see what it is. We're not going to sit up here and be all emotional and then get into fairy tale land. What females can do with their emotions and try and come up with something silly to say. Uh, fantasy about maybe hopefully they're going to give him life or they're going to get, he's going to fry for that. They might not even go look for this dude. She might not even have family to advocate for her properly. They might just want to check. Because nowadays, pretty much everybody family know if it's the right situation. They're they going to grab a, what's the lawyer dude name? Crump. And they're going to get it crump. All right? They're going to get paid. And then they're going to move on. And they probably didn't even jive with you anyway. Or vice versa. Yeah, you you good money you could be and while you playing they'll sit your ass up for that don't act like I'm not telling the truth you know where we at y'all live in this world you know where we at and I'm telling you just like that dude stood right there in his car and he just watched I, I'm not saying you don't put nothing in don't even take it you, if you're thinking about a comeback or you're thinking about arguing, well, he, what was he supposed? Don't even do, don't, don't even waste your time with that. That's not important. What's important is ain't nobody gonna help you. If you think they are, hey, go ahead. I don't care if they standing right beside you. I don't care if it's your damn daddy, girl. Listen, do not assume. Somebody's going to help you in any situation that might be the same person that set your ass up. You better make sure you got you. And that starts from your very first movement. Okay. Your very first action is going to determine whether or not you're going to be all right. 
Because I guarantee you why you not paying attention and why you over there, you know, whatever the hell you y'all be doing. It's probably about four or five people already scoping you out. And it's all about whatever they want to do. And you don't even got to, you know, give them your phone number or give them, you know, some energy or whatever. It's it's not we passed that cussing you out because you didn't want to holler at them. We we already know that they just taking chicks out that they don't even know just because you turned them down. That's where we at. All right, you better make sure you can you you real good with it. Okay, you better be little Mike Tyson, little Billy Blanks. I'm talking about both of them. And you better learn how to use all kind of weapons. You better keep training. You better make sure you ain't smoking. Make sure you got that stamina. Make sure you just bad. I mean, I'm I want to see you chisel because you athletic and you kick your ass. You can kick anybody's in your head. <laughs> you can kick anybody ass because if it come down to it, you are gonna have to try. At the end of the day, and we know <laughs> you probably ain't kicking no dude, but but hey, you never know what you. Would be able to do to save yourself if you're in a situation. Because they're not going to hesitate. And I promise you ain't nobody going to care. Not for real. I mean, if you good with leaving, that's okay. I respect that. But, you know, do you want to leave like that? Because you don't know how that's going to be. You don't know how that's going to feel. You don't know what they're going to do. I mean, he popped her right on off. But she didn't have a fear she knew he was about to do it she knew when she was with this dude he was capable of doing it deep down inside but something made her tell herself differently at the end of the day you don't need your friend to tell you you don't need your mom to tell you You don't need your dad your brother you don't need nobody to give you no need no therapy you don't need no youtube video you don't need nobody to freaking tell you this is not good for me you know if it is or if it's not. I promise you, you do. I don't care who raised you. I don't care who taught you. You got something in you that's letting you know, this ain't what I need to be doing. And and, and, and as soon as you feel like you want to respect that, you better go read 48 Laws of Power. I know some people might be like, oh, that's, that that book everybody again we don't care go read the book just go read the book and then you're gonna read other books eventually but you need to start getting some shit in your head so you can start figuring out how you need to be thinking and operating because i'm gonna tell you something when that guy says crush your enemies completely We not sidestepping on no, this is not good for me. You going to make sure that's clear across the board. Okay. You going to make sure we not trusting nothing. We not trusting nobody. And this is why we stay on our own selves. Cause we don't even trust ourselves. We got emotions. You don't even know if your hormones are balanced or not. They're going to control you better than you going to control you. So you better make sure you're not playing around over there. I don't know why Carly ran her ass off there looking stupid for everybody. But I guess she was like, I don't know, doing stupid shit because she was feeling some way about this guy. I mean, it's, in my opinion, 100% on her because she was stupid. It's like, what the fuck you thought that was going to accomplish? But again, what was that supposed to accomplish? Like, look at what she done done. We ain't got time for no stupid mistakes. Okay, you're going to be here one minute and you're going to be messed up or gone the next. It's no in between. It's no in between. You know what type of dude that is. All right. And we not we don't want them type of dudes. And it seemed like it's a lot of them out here. It seemed like this is pretty much what is floating around here. Guess what? You good. If that's just what it is, then you good. All right. If if you if you got some energy coming your way and you feel like mm, 
I, I'm, I'm not getting no warning signs. Okay, and you want to wrap a taste with them and y'all exchange numbers and you feel like you want to get to know them, you better be careful every step of the way. You're not laying your guard down for nothing. And, and the, the minute, the minute <laughs> dude try to rush you, the minute you say, you know, I'm, let's say for an example, I'm the type I don't like to score on the first date or kiss on the first date. You know, um, I'm not going to come inside your house. I'm not going to, you know, some kind of boundary, you guys. His response is going to tell you something, but he might be trying to fill you out. Oh, and he know if you respond a certain way, he, he you, but he probably going to lose you, right? He, that, he don't want to do that. So he going to be like, okay, I respect it. But then the next time you rocking with him. He trying to cross that boundary. He trying to convince you to cross that boundary. All right. Fuck nigga. I tried to give you a chance. Okay. Now you better leave me the fuck alone. That's where you at with it. Okay. If we don't got no explanations for you, we don't got nothing. You know who you are. Okay. And you don't want to find out who I can be. So we're done. That's all. That's it. He ain't nobody. You understand me? Nobody else is nobody to you. You somebody to you, and that's all that matters. Everything else, if it's meant for y'all to have, a, you know, an exchange of energy, okay, cool. But that's not even what what, what you want right now. Because it's, it's just wild out here. That's not even what you want right now. You focus. You focus because you only got one. And when you go, you go. All you got is one. This body you got, mind, organs, everything. When that shit stop, it's over. And you don't know anything behind that. And at people saying all kind of shit. I don't even care what the answer is supposed to be. I'm not looking for it. And I ain't listening to nobody. Who the fuck are they? Nobody's died and gone to heaven and or hell and came back. They don't even know if any of that shit exists. We've been told a lot of shit. Okay. All right. <laughs> you understand me? Maybe not. Maybe some. Probably not all. Okay. I lay it out for you to play it out. If you want to pick it up, do that. All right. Do that. But psh, left and right, left and right, left and right, left and right. We seeing y'all. Gone. Out of here. And these dudes, what? Lives are over. Sort of. But they still breathing. <laughs> they still living. They done took you on up out of here. And guess what? Before all that happened, they didn't even know you existed. You probably knew them four or five months. Who this dude probably ain't even know her a year. And he just popped her off like that. Somebody who who was it I was watching? She was like, it was somebody that I was with. Oh. What's the guy's name? Which he get on my dang on nerves. I don't really like watching him. But he had a um girl on there. And I'm real quick. And then we going to finish this off. Because I got to go. But he had a girl on there. She was with a guy. She was telling her story. And she was like, um, he was HIV positive. I think she married him. And he never told her. And, you know, she. I guess she was trying to do like a story time or whatever. But she she came back and she was like, yeah, he knew before we even, you know, got like before they got together and before they got married, <laughs> you know. So the way she found out, I can't remember. But, you know, of course, he was sleeping around and all that. So when it came down to it, the authorities was telling her, like, you can be with him or you can put him in jail. It's up to you. But he this is he can definitely go. Get some charges for this. This is not good. She wasn't trying to do all that. She wasn't trying to do all that. You can't expect nobody to respect you no more. We passed that. We that shit that ship has sailed. You know, maybe back when Tommy Sotomayor was going real strong, black women had an opportunity to like do some you know, make a big announcement. Hey, listen, hold on. Just chill. Give us a chance. We're about to work on 
trying to get ourselves together. Um, it's that's not what took place. Okay, it's zero opportunity for there to be a newfound respect or respect levels raised for us. Okay, we're at the bottom of this shit. Okay. I don't know what you're thinking, but we are. And 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 that is part of the problem is why it has so many women putting themselves in positions to where you don't need to be. You know, be, being a certain type of person, carrying yourself a, a type of way. Because I promise you, sis, I promise you, I, tr- I promise you, I almost said trust me. I'm telling you, don't trust nobody. <laughs> but I promise you, either way it go, nobody's going to really care. I don't care what they say. I don't care nothing. And if you got a, a respect and you, you know, you like, oh, this person care. I don't care if it's your mama. Oh, I think my mama really care for me. Okay, that's cool. If you see otherwise, you better respect that even more. That's all I'm telling you. But we don't care because it is what it is. Only thing you trying to do is uh, make sure you safe. And may the power be with you that you, you know, know what else. <laughs> you know, may the power be with you. May but y'all got to, y'all got to stop playing out here. Because ain't nobody thinking you cute. I'm just going to tell you, ain't nobody thinking you cute. All right? You cute when you ain't worried about what the fuck they think. All right? You ain't got to judge each other. You ain't got to treat each other bad. You don't, you don't have to be no competition or none of that. You should just respect each other. Because you the only you out here. They're, women, we the shit. We have babies, we give birth. I don't care what nobody say. There's no debating any of that. You do it and then come back and maybe we'll have a conversation about how you could always do that and you were created to do that. So you see what I'm saying? We, there's no, not, there's nothing to talk about. It's people out here trying to be us, trying to figure out how to create life and bring it forth. Which is what we do naturally. (laughs) You got people in the medical field trying to figure out how to make. Not just other people. But other freaking species or animals do it. When there's uh, you know any type of situation that they could not guess. Or because they be experimenting. They all weird. But we can't. we, We. It's nothing like us. And it's okay. If others aren't going to respect that, they none of them will be here without us. That's okay. We pass that. We don't care. We ain't worried about that. Okay, we ain't, we ain't worried about none of that. We don't need you to validate us in any kind of way. We don't need that. Because you show. Listen, first of all, let me say this real quick. And I ain't mad at nobody. I'm just like I really mean it. Okay, people you call it passion. You can say whatever. I'm just, I'm telling you. So once I tell you, that's all I got. If you want to say something different, I don't care. I don't explain myself. But just to give you an idea of what I mean when I'm saying what I'm saying. Okay, this is just inter, inter, introductory type shit. Right? So the next time I come on here and say something, I'm not going to do all that. I might one time say, I really don't care what you think. And that'll be it. That's how I rock. Okay? We don't care. We don't got time for it. There is no comparison. You can't compare where you don't compete. (laughs) Like Velva said. You can't compare where you don't compete. But what you not going to (laughs) do, no more. Is use me and disrespect me and take my life. (laughs) Or take anything from me. I'm talking about anything. 
No. That's what you're not going to do. And that's up to you to decide that that shit ain't going to happen no more. That's up to you to decide because you nothing but weak in their eyes. That's all you are. I don't care what you're thinking. The problem is you let yourself think that in the first place. They playing you from jump all the way to the end and they give no fucks. Why you think dudes can never stop cheating on their wives? Why you think so many women be going through it since forever? Why you think these dudes get up there and get this power and have all these women and be doing all this who knows what kind of type of sick shit behind, you know, that only certain people know, ever knew about. You can't, it's like really, it's almost nothing his trifling ass won't do. Just, just so he can what? Mentally and physically enjoy a, a short time of pleasure. And then, you know, whatever gratification and satisfaction he's getting off of just all of it. The fact that he playing your ass and got you crazy. And, you know, you thinking, <laughs> but really just a minute ago, like they, they, they get off on all the, all that comes with that. And the whole time you're like, oh, you know, he's, he's just so, oh, he, you know, and I, I hope he would never, but you know, he wouldn't. No, maybe you wouldn't. They not us. They not us. But you're going to have to get more like them. That's just what it is. You're still a woman. You're going to have to get more like them. You're going to have to tone all that down. Forget the way society has tried to keep you somewhere you don't need to be. The same way they got these dudes like this. We ain't worried about that. That's not our issue. Okay, we can't do nothing about that. Focus on you. Figure you better get it straight so it can all come to you. Because you're gonna have to figure it out. You're gonna have to keep them hormones balanced. Number one, <laughs> so you can be in control and you can just like, you know, be as super as you need to be, so we can fly through this mud. <laughs> you know, you know. At the end of the day, though. <laughs> At the end of the day, though, ain't no dude going to put me in a position to where I'm going to make it clear to him that I don't even care about myself. So he can already understand that it it ain't no thing but a chicken wing if I just go ahead and take her on up out of there because I don't know what's wrong with him. But we ain't worried about that. That's not even something that should turn you on. I don't, I, I, stop even saying these niggas is fine. You got these niggas on IG. <laughs> like, trying to really tantalize and turn you on. I could really go in on that because the way I'm set up, I can look at this dude and be like, well, I guess I can see how they would be attractive to him maybe because, I don't know. He, I mean, he thick, he built, he got a nice body. Uh, I just be like looking for shit to like say, well, what the fuck is wrong with these chicks? Why you like this should repulse you. It should repulse you, but it doesn't. And, and, and it does all that. And if, if I was feeling a different way towards this dude, if my energy was different and I could respect him, it might be an opportunity for me to um, find him attractive or at least say he cute, even though I'm not like sexually attracted to him. But I'm not even like I'm not built that way. I'm not programmed like that. I'm not going to you're not going to get me. I'm not attracted to you. If I'm it, I ain't, I can't even explain it. And every other chick in the world can be like, girl, this dude. I can. I mean, if you say so. I don't know what to tell you. I, I feel nothing. That's just that's just what it is. That's a blessing. That's a blessing because these, these it's some real clowns out here. Okay, it's some real unstable clowns, and it was only a matter of time. It was only a matter of time. It's not like they haven't been kicking ass and killing. It's not like they ain't been kicking ass and killing. I say in my Dr. Uma voice, it's not like they ain't been kicking ass and killing. But 
they all jacked up right now. Okay? If you got a species <laughs> that can lie to your face, but then behind your back act like he can't control a part of his body, hey, bro, that's you. That's a part of you. I didn't create you. You, I was just a... I was used. Like, without me, I'm the key to get you here. So, you know, our creator chose me to be the vessel. But I didn't literally set you up like that. So, I don't know what's going on. That's on you. You're supposed to figure that out. Guys lose empires, go to jail, leave your ass in prison for life. Dudes do some mm, foul shit. Okay, y'all got family, babies, everything, marry. He look you dead in your face, baby. You been cheating on me? No, dear. Why you tripping like that? They'll do, y'all know. Y'all know what I'm saying. Because they choose to not control a part of their body. To me, that shit has always been weird. And it's always been scary. And I don't know why it's not to other people. And then you see throughout life, different women try to make different excuses for why this guy is doing this. And then you try to tell other women that they should. What? All kind of things. Because he, he's got he's doing well at work. Or uh, maybe it's something you not doing or. I don't know, whatever, all these crazy shit that I don't never ever listen to, and, but it's nothing. The only thing it is, this is, a, this is a thing, okay? And I, I'm calling it a thing at this point, but it's a, a person, I guess. It's a human being, flesh, on my flesh, blood of my blood, organs, just like me. I got a brain. They talk the most shit about us as women. Especially as black women, but as women. Because we have hormones on a cycle. Because that is just the way we was built <laughs> and programmed. So that we can actually bring life into this world. Nigga, what's your excuse? I'm sorry, you two. I'm, I'm going to work on the N-word. What's your excuse? Why can't y'all control that thing down there? Mm. And and it, And... It starts before that. There's some other issues going on. And they program each other to be like that. And not none of them. This is how horrible of. This is how horrible they are. Not none of them ever say. Guys we can't be. We got to stop. This is. This has the end. This has the end. It's been a fun ride. But look at us. We do dumb shit. We do dumb shit. They want that to forever stay as something that they get a pass for. Like you give them an excuse or, you know, another chance. And then these clowns would turn around and say to you and to each other, if my wife cheat on me, hell no. You'll be nothing to them. You'll be the lowest to them. Okay, then they really will be running out through your friends and everything else. And your ass will be toe up, hurt and everything because you ain't built like that. And you ain't going to just stop like that. Y even though you messed up. For whatever reason. And if that wasn't even you in the first place, which it shouldn't be. Because I honestly believe we only built naturally for one. You let all this other stuff tell you you should be this, that, and the third. That's on you. So when you open your mind to that, then your mind is open to it. But I like this guy. Oh, but he did. Okay, first of all, how did you even get there? How did we even get to the point where you you back home with a husband and everything and just because whatever is going on? Homeboy at work now, all of a sudden, he done grabbed your ass? And, and I mean, we just crossing boundaries, and the next thing you know, so you know, yeah, that's not us. That's not us. 
Okay, so just just so you know, that's where I stand. Full stop. That's not us. Mm mm. Mm mm. It's not. It's a whole lot of stuff going on out here. But I'm going to tell you straight up and down. It doesn't matter about any of the opinions of anything that I'm saying out my mouth right now. Because them niggas would do you any kind of way and then leave you not breathing no more. And you don't need me to tell you that. And you ponder whether or not you want to believe me or not. The proof exists because it It happens. And the numbers are increasing. They only got to know you like that. And, you know, it I, It may sound weird that I'm saying that, but. Hmm, if you don't know me. What you what you killing me for? What's that all about? Bro, nobody ever told you no. Nobody ever dismissed you. Nobody ever ignored you. You made a choice. To speak to me or try to get my attention. It is up to me. If I give you any energy. I'm in control. Of my universe. Okay. This is me. This is my path I'm on. So if I feel like. I shouldn't give no energy to you. At all. No acknowledgement. Whatsoever. And keep it moving. I had a right to. You're not going to force me to absorb whatever the hell you trying to send my way. Because, uh, yeah. I'm going to do what I need to do for me. Because my body going to let me know what I need to do. And that could be body, physically, mind, emotionally, whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm just telling you. When I'm saying that, it can accomplish a whole lot of things that you probably haven't even thought of yet. But I don't need to figure it. There's nothing to figure out. I know off top whether or not I need to even look at this dude or say hi. And you're not going to sit up here and tell me that you, you don't know at least if you're... Talking to him before y'all even walk away from each other, you can't tell me you don't know whether or not you need to just like never like no more contact. Like, nope, we're not gonna proceed just from that. I'm gonna say interaction because I know y'all ain't having no conversation. Not in 2024. I mean, because where did you go to the library to like some you, you, you out here in Nerville. Like I be where, you know, you have some intellectual stuff going on, some real interest and, you know, people actually be having conversations other than that. You ain't having no conversation. And when he texts you, it's going to be some little letters or something. Not even a whole word. So, so, so nah, we not doing that. That's not us. That's not what we want. And the minute, listen, let me tell you something. A, a HR you do, a HR you do is a DEADU. Because that's how trash he is. And that's how much respect he got for you. He already telling you he ain't shit. And you, if he, if he ain't shit, you definitely ain't nothing. Like you're below that. If anything, he wants some revenge for something he got going on. Don't be acting like these dudes don't got something going on. I'm already telling you, they got something going on off of GP because they can't, they refuse to. I'm not going to say can't because we humans, maybe they don't know how powerful we are. I mean, that physical strength, it's it's not impressive because that's what you're supposed to have. <laughs> it's like saying, oh, it's impressive because I had a baby. Well, yeah, okay, it is. But, you know, I'm supposed to do that. My body's set up for that. That's why what's impressive is me making it month to month. (laughs) Yeah, that's impressive. Only to have your ass turn around and disrespect me and talk about me. And I'm talking about women, period. I ain't just saying directing it just to myself. I'm talking about women and say, oh, yeah, she crazy, man. She crazy. You know? Like... You, this the problem, okay, 
Anything don't feel that good. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> no. What feels good is stepping into a power and a dimension that you don't know nothing about. And not being in no situation with no dude. To where you sit up here trying to figure out how to get your feelings together so you cannot text him or you cannot call him. And this dude, little do you know, when I hesitate to take your ass up off the map. That chick that was sitting up there talking about this guy put gave her HIV or whatever. She kept she was telling the story to like keep you in suspense about, you know, what happened? Did we stay together? Listen, chick, she's still with him. She didn't press no charges, right? But then, check this out. She's going on telling you, be careful, be this, do that, you know, check them out. Wear protection, all that kind of stuff, because I care about y'all. And she was, like, really getting close to the camera. Like, she was, like, really trying to play with your emotions. Man, y'all are done with people playing with your emotions. That chick mush her ass out of there and flick that shit off and go do something different okay go do something different do 20 push-ups on that bitch and walk away she don't care about you that dude should have went to jail so you he was already to you know you that's how he just because the, they it's, we know he does you know you just want to do they disgusted <laughs> and and if you say why you saying? Because it ain't me. Or I ain't like that. Dude, I don't care what you're thinking. I'm not even talking to you. So if you think it's not you, then that's your power. Did you know that? You got a right to say to yourself, she ain't talking about me. I'm not that kind of dude. You got a right to say that. I don't know you. I don't know you. <laughs> but um, back to the ladies out there. Come on, women. Y'all know. We let society rule us and, and move us for so long. And we not even, we, we above them. We above that. We better than that. When that whole who, who the prize talk, you can shove it. You can shove it. Cause I'm always the one. Oh, we both the prize. It's just so corny. Just cut it out. But you watch this ego and shit. Like they really want to make you buy down and say they the prize. And but you're built in a way to where you will you compromise the other way. We're pleasers. We're lovers. We only need to do all that. They'll do anything in the world to try to make you insecure. To try to make you feel a way. And no, I don't deal with fuck niggas. Okay, so this ain't me tripping on no dude in my personal life. I don't have the name from my past to call. I ain't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know them type of dudes y'all be dealing with at all. I don't. I don't. I don't track two, and I don't track that. If for some reason you feel like you want to gravitate to me and you feel like you need a hand of want, because that's not uncommon, something I have to deal with. No, you got to deal with it. And you better figure out real quick what I'm saying to you. That's on you to deal with. I don't care that you don't understand what you feel in that energy, whatever. I don't care. It's. You not even paying me to help you figure that shit out. But what I'm telling you is this ain't for you. This is not for you. Okay. Clear and uncut. Clear and uncut. We not. We not trying to make you. I, you can never be the prize to me. When you are. According to the story. Supposed to be the provider, the father, the big strong one, the protector, and everything like that. It's dudes out here that be sleeping with their own daughters. It's dudes out here that be having babies with their own daughters. I'm not saying women don't be doing stuff, but you know, you know how I know you insecure because you started out oppressing us. I don't think, I don't really, I, don't, I mean, 
y'all got these little fables and stories and stuff, but we didn't write that. Y'all wrote that shit. And then you're going to tell us that's law. I, I'm supposed to trust you? Am I really supposed to trust you? Hmm. No, I don't. I really don't. I don't believe nothing you're saying. When I, especially when I see you just being a dummy out here left and right. Like you literally, okay, I'm not even going to do that because y'all can't handle it. And you're going to want smoke. Okay. Every last sensitive one out there is going to want smoke if I go there. Okay, but I don't even need to because I'm going to tell you, if you if you want your woman and this is how you want to set up society as man, you say, God say you the boss, whatever. Then cool. You you can have your woman be in the house because I promise. Listen for me. It's unfortunate that we got to a position where women had to fight and get her way out the house, cause I just it just uh uh-uh. uh it didn't go well. I'm gonna say that. But why you gotta treat her bad? Hmm. Why you got to treat her bad? Why you got to beat on her? Why you got to oppress her? Why you got to... Whatever you guys was doing. Because they weren't happy. It's a difference between thinking you missing something. To literally being treated wrongly. Y'all didn't respect your wives. Y'all was too busy wanting each other more since the beginning. So this ain't nothing new. I can never respect you from day one. Okay, just off your GP of who you are, what you are, whatever that is. I don't know, but I can't figure it out because in my head, I cannot see certain things. I can't see certain things and then turn around and look at you with respect. I can't do that. You supposed to be the big man. All right, but y'all want to be the big biatch. Y'all want to be that. Okay. Okay. All right, and this is if you over here getting offended by my video, then yeah, I guess I'm talking to you. But if you found out earlier I wasn't talking to you and you left, then you did a good thing. And listen, I ain't even that don't even apply to you, so we good either way. But if you can't treat your woman, the one who is gonna make sure you good like no other, okay, because she gotta be healthy for that. The one that's gonna raise your children, she gotta be healthy for that. It's not even hard what y'all need from each other. So you, it's something going on with you already. And we the one with the hormones, really? It's something going on with you already, the way you feel like you got to come home and, you know, disrespect your wife. Okay, so when she want to go out there and get in a hardcore workforce and put herself in jeopardy, being around more of you just so she can get a dollar, so she can say, hey, dude, listen, I can pay a bill or two. You, you, can't, you can't put your hands up again. See when I leave. Sneak away maybe, but, you know, she left. No, something ain't right with that. You know, you go, you'll go to work, do, be doing, have done the grossest, most nastiest, worstest, Things ever. <laughs> Knowing that you two have a clear understanding that y'all not supposed to be doing any of that with nobody else. And you'll come home and kiss your wife and be with your family as if your heart ain't beating no faster, no slower. It ain't nothing. And you could probably be laid up with your wife later on that night having a flashback because it turned you on because it was just like a, you know, an adventure. You was under the desk or something. You know, y'all be on that type of time and worse, and you know it. Okay, you too sick for me. You too sick for me. And when you get to feeling like you need to blow a chick's head off, because what? Because you was rejected? Because she said, you know what, bro, listen. This is probably not what I want to do anymore. So I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to go away from you. And, uh, yeah, you know, you be okay. Because we, we, we build like that. And guess what? 
even while it's hurting so bad inside. I'm glad I had the opportunity to at least, I guess, think I was in love at least once. At least once. Because I probably would be a very, um, I, I'd be incapable of understanding um, to to the degree that I am. I mean, literally incapable. And even still, <laughs> I'm just like, y'all, at, at some point, you know, it's like, I mean, what are we doing here? Y'all, they, don't they be telling y'all you hit the wall? I mean, you gonna hit the wall in a second? You ain't got that kind of time. All right? You should be the main one not willing to waste no time. You ain't playing it right. I don't care how many numbers of you and them and all that other kind of shit. Nigga, it be uh, extinct. <laughs> not extinct for real. But let's exhaust that. Let's run all through that. Okay, they got a million ways they can get themselves in trouble. It's up to him to not do that. All right, and if you disappear, then you that your bloodline was supposed to disappear. We need a new breed up in here. And we'll be all good with the new breed. Because we going to be the ones to make sure they got a whole different curriculum. You understand what I'm saying? And it and And we may not never... <laughs> Ever get no such a thing as oh my soulmate and my twin's name and this the guy and this and the princess or whatever fantasy or whatever because if you're doing math and it's and we supposed to be outnumbering you are either gonna let let these sick bastards tell you that you gotta do polygamy or you gonna calculate in your head that you know it just might be meant to go another way. Just maybe it might be meant to go another way. Like what, what, uh, let's just say for an example, you might be in a position where you might need to not even be with a dude anymore. For, for a better outcome. You gonna die? You gonna die anyway. We leaving here regardless. What's going on in between? That don't matter. That don't matter because you know what? I'm going to say this and we're going to move on. And I, I, for, I can't respect no dudes. That's going to allow their people to come to where we have. And then on top of that, you're going to turn scissor. And then on top of that, you're going to have the nerd to try to blame women for anything. Like, you know, <laughs> whining and shit like you do. What? Anywho, let's go um, find this story before we look at this video real quick. Because we're going to look at this video. Let me see what their names are. It was a Nita or something like that. I don't know. But, yeah. They seem to be very young. And I wasn't even going to be saying all that. But, hey, whatever is supposed to come out, I'll let it rock. Amir Johnson. Hold on, y'all. It's crazy how I pull up this baller. <laughs> uh, with stats and everything. Amir Jala Johnson. Maybe I should have put her name in. Uh, must be a popular player. Because this girl is not coming up. So let me go find her name. Hold on. All right, here we go. This looks like it's it. So it says police are investigating a fatal shooting that was caught on video. Baltimore County Police says Shakia Allen, 27, uh, was papowed multiple times Sunday at around 3 p.m. on White Low uh, Place in Parkville. What state? Oh, Baltimore. No, Baltimore County. What? W-B-A-L? I don't know what state that is. Why don't they just put 
the whole state and everything up top because I don't know that radio station. I don't, it's Baltimore County can be anywhere, you know. Like we not in your town. <laughs> the fuck, this ain't no riddle. All right, so she's trying to get away from her attacker. She, you know, she. It was over right then and there. So a graphic video of the incident was posted. Blah blah blah. Neighbors was yelling. What do you mean a neighbor was yelling? Uh, it's horrific. It's appalling that someone would do something like that. Someone open. You know what? When I seen that lady downstairs giving an interview, I ain't gonna lie. In my head, I was like, "You need to be upstairs in your window giving the interview." That's where you was at. You need to be up there. Yeah, she caught it on tape. Yeah, at least she said something or whatever. And she probably wouldn't have made it down there in time. But, hey, to be honest, that's more than you probably going to get. Most of the time, they're going to record and they ain't going to say nothing. Okay, so she did at least say, leave him alone, which... In a way, it, it, it can seem like it's kind of sad, too. Because she was like, come here, girl. Come here. Like, you know, telling the girl safe, it's safe to come to her. And she basically couldn't do anything else. But w- we don't care about none of that. Okay? We ain't got time for thinking like that. That's to leave you complacent and leave you to feel like, oh, well, at least somebody was trying. And at least she got it on tape, man. This It's no fucking at least... And no, no, it's no, there is no such a thing as at least. Because unless some people are stopping this dude from taking me out, there is no, nothing else. With There's nothing lesser that we're accepting. And with that being said, why you rented from him in the first place? You already knew it was a problem. That's what I'm telling y'all. In the beginning of the video and really throughout, but you better make sure that if nobody don't show up, you ain't even worried about it. Okay, you gonna have a whole S on your chest. Nigga, didn't I tell you to stay away? You think this is a game? Because I'm nice? (laughs) Because I'm a female? Like, you think I won't and I can't? Now, you thinking because you done had an emotional attachment to this dude, he not really going to hurt you. Or he, he'll, he'll, he'll cheat on you, he'll hit you, but he'll never literally delete you. What's wrong with you? Why are you thinking like that? Huh? Why are you thinking like that? I, I, don't, I don't know what the situation could be with him. It could be, you know, ego. It could be you supposed to be his property. I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? When people say, oh, they had all the money and all the girls, they would never. You know, they say that about R. Kelly and other stuff. R. Kelly literally was. Okay. It'd be something else going on with these dudes. And it don't actually be about sex. They don't connect with you like that i don't care if they tell you that if you hear him talking about it on a podcast it's just part of their game they're playing you <laughs> they're literally lying to you they are not building no connection with you in any shape or way close to how you connect when you're intimate with someone just because they um are being intimate with you now it'd be some other stuff going on with them and you you ain't you you just not in a position to where you want to fully trust that. You're going to have to be watching out for context clues if you're going to be with a dude. And you better make sure you're protecting yourself. It's nothing about nobody you ain't married to that's going to have you doing things that you felt like you said to yourself you're not going to do. And it's, it starts with being unprotected with his ass. It's like everybody wants to do that nowadays. I mean, literally. They don't even care who you are or what your name is. They ain't trying to put nothing on it. That is exactly the standard of the society today. You done took yourself so low. These guys don't 
have no respect for you at all. I don't even care if it's your mama. I just watched the video where a uh, guy was calling it. Guy, he don't even look like he's like in his 20s or whatever. He out in the parking lot beating up on his own mama. And she trying to stop him from fighting the other guy who's confronting him. Because she don't want her baby to go to jail. I'd have been like, kick that nigga ass. Put his hands on me. Dude, you done. But you, you'll say, I can't do that. It's my son. What? Did he say I can't hit you? That's my mama? You better get your mom right. Okay? So, anywho. Hmm... Okay, the victim, Allen, filed for protective order August of 2023. That's back in August. The order is warned against going near contracting or harming the person who filed the complaint. House of Ruth, an organization that advocates for victims of domestic violence, provided context on the protective order. We strongly advocate for the continued strength of the uh, system's that enable law enforcement and the courts to better protect victims of intimate partner violence. While protective orders are an important aspect of the safety net for victims, our community needs to turn its focus. Uh, I don't care about what she's saying. He, according to court records, a final order, get, man, listen, this story don't got nothing to it. I thought they was going to say more about their relationship. What was going on? Like, how long they been together? What kind of things she was experiencing or something like that? He said, in this case, there was an interim order here. It's my understanding that they had a hearing back in April. And no one showed up for that. Um, of course, it was thrown out in some six days. Why she say back in April? Are we not still in April? Because as far as I know, we're still in April. If the order was brought out in august she's literally talking about this month on the 15th but who knows because this shit is real but it's not <laughs> of course it was thrown out some six days later she was murdered Macaulay. right <laughs> well whatever ah man so how old was she how old was he Okay, when she was 27. Damn, she was almost 30 years old. Messing with a clown. Y'all think that's all you got. So then you'll tell yourself you literally attracted to the... You're not attracted to these dudes. Y'all not attracted to these dudes. You just told yourself that shit. Listen, you're not... A, it's not natural for you to be attracted to these type of dudes that's running around out here. I'm gonna tell you that. <laughs> All kind of stuff I be seeing with y'all. That's not natural. But here we go. I ain't going to blow it up too big because YouTube. But I'm going to turn on the volume. At some point, it's going to work. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. She's saying he got a gun. Don't no. Listen, I'm. <laughs> hey, I'm going to have to talk through the video. This is a very short clip. We all know this. But this, you, you got to talk. Our YouTube is going to. Um, you, this car right here, this gray car, let me pull it over, see, if it'll, anywho, when she pan that camera, it's going to be a guy standing right there. He didn't move. He didn't move. I, and I don't, I don't got no other, I don't got no suggestions about what he should have done. I'm just telling you, he was standing right there. He didn't move. Look at this complex. And it's hundreds of people that live there. All right, this lady was screaming to the top of her lungs. They heard her. Regardless, and I'm and I'm not saying that they should have or could have did anything. I mean, at minimum, we got it on camera. It just happened to go that way. When you see something like this, this was for you. This, that's all it was. This whole situation happening, it, it it being on camera, this woman has happened. She didn't even have to leave her apartment. They was running around in the parking lot. They ran around in circles enough for you to catch everything. He chasing her. He trying to get her. He tripped her right there in the middle of the street. And then whatever they were saying to each other, he's, he walked right up to her and popped her right in her forehead. 
And if the lady happened to get it right all on her camera, they could have been out of the scene on another side of the parking lot when this happened. So this is for you. Leave these dudes alone. <laughs> okay? You be with these type of dudes. Why? That's not even... That's not nothing that you're supposed to be dealing with. You know that. It's trash. He not even a he not even a man. Hey, Look, he tripped her. Come here, girl. Come here. Don't you fucking hurt her. Look, you see the guy standing right there? Leave her alone. He not even gonna leave. He not even gonna leave. He not even gonna go in the house. He just gonna stand there and watch. Oh, he fucking shot her. Call the cops. Oh, my yeah. God. Should I call Do him? say he. Hurry up. Oh, gosh. I wasn't supposed to say the G word, so. We're going to see what's going to happen. I have a restraining He's saying you're going to do nothing but get yourself in trouble. What? Uh, there's trouble, and then there's being deceased. That's <laughs> And how am I getting in trouble with you? You're not even my husband. Man, y'all better leave these little goofy leave boys alone. <laughs> For real. Come here, girl. If you didn't deal with them, then they Come wouldn't here. be goofy. Don't you fucking hurt her. Hey, leave her alone. Look, look. Do you see that? Listen. Oh, my God. Oh, he fucking shot And that woman had to see that. Oh, my God. Should I call him? You must be out your mind. Y'all better stop. It, this is your fault. You know how people say, this your fault? Yeah, this is your fault. Because, you know, society did a number on you, and you think that you got to settle for these clowns. These are clowns. I don't know what type of breed this is. But it's a whole, they already been somewhat of a clown. But, you know, you got some that handle their business. You know, and, you know, you would never even... A woman would never even be like, my, nah, my, not my husband. He's a stand-up dude. That whole, he's a good man, Savannah. No, not that. Not, not that. Right? But that don't mean he, he not going to cheat or whatever. But you probably never even found out. I'm not saying this, right? All I'm saying is he never even gave you a clue that he was anything like this. If you a clown like these guys are, these guys don't do, they don't do anything for you, but expect you to give to them with no return. Who, what, what made you think that that was how it should be? And then since you accepted it as your fate, you start saying, you going to seek them out and you going to offer it to them. Whatever they want. You got all these goofies and then they be running in to each other and then running into you. And then you start saying you like them like that too. Okay, well, they taking you out. They don't mind what they give you, what you stuck with, what you left with. Mentally, physically, emotionally, they don't mind if you ain't breathing no more. Look at this dude, he chasing her down. Why did he just go on about his business? So many women out here. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with these dudes? It's so many women out here. You the prize. You the prize. Man, you can go four or five everywhere you go. It's so many of them. And the chicks are so easy. <laughs> they so easy. What dude can't get laid? Why are you messing with that one? She running from you, bro. Like she running from you. This shit look like a movie. It look like a corny ass white people scary movie. Like she, she not even. <laughs> that's probably as fast as she could go for whatever reason. I don't know. She got on slides. Or maybe, you know, her knees. Or I don't know what's going on. Cause she not, she no track star. It's like she kind of tiptoed jogging or something. I don't know what that is. That's why he just put his foot out and tripped her. He was like, okay. We're done. This lady told me she going to call the police and all that. She dropped. This is real. It happened. How many times do you keep watching this? And y'all keep dealing with these dudes. Let them go back into the dirt from whence they came until they don't exist no more. 
This is a bad batch. This is a bad batch. It shouldn't be none to try. If they all want to be with each other, nobody even cares. Just don't bother us. Just don't bother hey, us. Get the fuck off here, you asshole. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm calling the cop. Come here, girl. Come here. Don't you fucking hurt her. Hey, leave her alone. Oh. See? Oh, my God. See? Oh, he fucking shot her. Yeah. Y'all don't even be knowing these dudes. You don't be knowing these dudes. You meet them and then it's whatever level they want to be on, which is have whatever they want from you. And then that's where y'all at. You don't even know who this dude is. You don't know nothing about this dude. Nothing about this dude. You don't know what you getting yourself into. You don't know what he got planned for you. You don't know nothing, but you don't open yourself up to be a victim to your feelings because you're you getting pleased by him. You keep playing with it. Keep playing with it the whole time. He this dude to take you out. She fell like a flower like a flower off a petal okay do, what what kind of stuff you thought he was thinking about her when he did what he did he chased her around for a long time do you think at some point he could have said man forget this girl i'm about to leave i ain't even you know he he don't he don't even like himself he know he ain't he ain't nothing he don't got no life to live because you know if someone first of all is in a position where they like mad enough the way they want to they like well you know my life gonna be i'm going to jail and the courts don't even jive with you all right the, the police just forget they exist because they don't have no job to protect you. That is a lie. Okay, that is an outright flat lie. And I'm going to show you proof. I have showed you guys proof before, but I'm going to show you some very in-depth proof. And you can still do what you want to do, but that it's, only, it's all on you. That's all you got. That's it. That's why, you know the saying, you was born by yourself, that shit is real. How can it not be? Hmm? How can it not be? How can it think about it? How can it not be? You you think what what is it you're thinking in opposition to what I'm saying? What are you thinking uh, concerning another human? Did they come out the one with you? They didn't. Hmm. You think they're gonna be in a casket with you? Probably not. Even if they are deceased at the same time. I mean, that's you, there's no guarantees. So, in and out. All you, right? Okay. So, yeah. you can, Look at this one. Oh, shit. That's his daddy. Look, that's his dad. Look at him. And he, he, he ain't even been training. He weak. Look at him. But he put everything he had into that. Everything and then watch when he get ready to walk away. He gonna come and knee him. He meant to. He meant. He meant to delete that man. These are these people look. I don't want to say they're Asian because I ain't seen nobody face. I'm gonna see what. Well, where's the caption on it? I don't really know how to work Twitter like that. Um, between sixty three year old father and his forty 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 year old son. <clears throat> brings the son into a fit of rage and the father passed two months later from a cardiac arrest. He lasted two months after that? I don't know about that. You know, captions can be something made up sometimes, but he he just went all the way in. He went full blown. He had like he was in a ring. That man didn't even like he just sat there look at look at how he fell over it looked to me like he was done right there come on watch how this dude that's why i say them captions don't mean nothing watch how he did when he need him in his nose he did the whole he did a move that 
will put his damn I think he he I think that was a finisher move right there. Right there. See? Look at him. Watch him. Watch him. And then some guy gonna come and get him. I hold him back and he still he wanna watch him. He wasn't gonna go back over there and hit him no more. He just wanna watch him fall over because he know that was a finisher move. They, this caption ain't the truth. This caption ain't the truth. He he wanted to beat him until he was done. The way this dude fell over, yeah, that was his spirit love his body. And that's his own offspring right there. <laughs> You know, that we want he just what look 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 You see that he put everything he got into it. Everything he got. He he made a decision that this dude is done. It's done. You know, you know who, <laughs> you know who ain't playing around? Y'all want me to say it? Gypsy Rose. <laughs> it. See how he fell over? See, look at that. Uh, yeah, it was over it. It was over it. Okay. I didn't go no further than that. Tell you. This is not real. This is a skit. About the girl and her, he bought her BMW or whatever. But yeah, that shit. Wow, I don't even know what no, wait, the oh, hell. Listen to how you sound. You gonna get yourself in trouble. <laughs> Brian Dillon. That's, like, <laughs> that's why she recorded. I just caught that. Come here, girl. Come here. She said he got a gun. Don't you fucking hurt her. Hey. She, she ain't thinking about nothing of what that lady saying. Oh, my God. Oh, he fucking shot her. Oh, my God. Should I call him? I'm calling him. Hurry up. Get away from me. What should I call him? I don't know the whole situation and like the way he was and I don't even want to commentate on it too much because I don't want to draw you to to like because you know they can eat one too they be on some old boy and who is the dude standing there was he with him come here don't you fucking hurt her hey leave her alone he was oh Dude turned around right when oh it God. happened. He turned around right when it happened. He was about to walk away. Which is weird. And he casually walking away. Why would you walk away in that moment? Hey! Leave her alone! Oh my God! Oh! Ain't nobody doing that for you. God, Ain't nobody him. doing that for you. You could be in a church, it don't matter where you are. There's no situational circumstances to where somebody gonna help you. These 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 whatever they teach and have been teaching themselves to get a, get this breed, this new breed we got right here. Uh, they've been saying this about y'all. I ain't risking my life for no chick. Nobody, much less no chick. So, yeah, I don't know what you thinking out here, but y'all be walking around out here like you, you're you're good. When you be the last person on, literally, literally, you be the last person on this earth that somebody would try to defend, and you be the first person that nobody would care about if they take you out. Including the dude that's with you. When you when when the dude that is with you is not hesitating to eliminate you. Every time we turn around, it's some dude doing this. 
yeah, you might want to um, wake up and smell the coffee. The other guy who was couldn't let his, and they was guys in a relationship. Y'all probably seen that one too. It's got to be trending. That's probably why I saw it because I would have turned right away from that. When they caught him on ring camera, they said that um they saw it happen on the ring camera. So I don't know if that video was up, but and the family, the sister was like, "Oh, he be letting us know he he be in the house, cause he do he leaves you know he leaves his mark. He go in the refrigerator or something with I I can't remember, but whatever it is, it was unique to him. Whatever he used to do." So they knew he was in the house. And she like, oh, he just letting us know he could do that. What? And you, and you, I mean, think about it, guys. Because whatever you trying to say, oh, they weren't, they're not going to do anything. It's like they were, there is no, now you're sounding like them. Okay. You're making an excuse for why you are not going to protect yourself. Think about that. I don't care about anything else. There is nothing for me to consider nobody, what nobody else got to say, what they might do or whatever. This world has already shown itself. There is no more surprises. There's nothing for me to, I don't care what, what the agenda was with the stupid ass Disney movies and all that. But we, this ain't no Disney princess fantasy land. It's not. Okay, you're not going to be sitting up there doing no interview about some dude that killed your brother when y'all knew he was going to do that. And he was already stalking the mess out of y'all and doing all kind of creepy stuff. Once you start not leaving a person alone when they want you to leave them alone. And coming to their house and getting inside their house. Like trying to force entry yourself into their life in some kind of way. Once a person is doing all that, it's no it's no more talk. Like there's nothing to be hesitant about or anything. It's you or them. It's a 911 situation. It's like you're not gonna just hope. Maybe he'll come to his senses and maybe they don't even care if they live anymore. I mean, what, honestly, when you look at it, like, what's what, what what's the big deal? <laughs> what's the big deal? They probably were looking for a free get out of jail card anyway. Like they wanted a nice little ride up out of here, and you know, someone probably hoped that when the when the when they pull up, maybe they put that down and it pointed at them, or. They get them in there and they let them back out because they've been doing that. Y'all ain't been seeing that. They've been doing that for a while, but they just do it more often now. They just like put put him back out there. Right? He ain't done enough damage. Let him get a couple more. That's that's where you at. (laughs) That's where you at. And Carly didn't help. Carly didn't help. I can't believe somebody ain't drug ass behind the building and kicked that damn teeth in just yet because she she wanted to be a pawn. You know, I don't know what she get getting out the deal, but that shit didn't make no sense. What you think she did? Fuck black women. Look at look at look at their ass. They don't even take themselves seriously. Y'all know Carly did that. <laughs> you know what she did that for? She did that for it. The depreciation nail in a coffin. That's what that was. That was a, a, a move. That's why her parents think about this too. And I'm gone. Third time saying it. I mean it this time. Carly, Carly parents are supposed to be, I ain't going to say elite because they keep saying, they try to talk them out real good. Oh, they probably don't even live in that house. Carly, Carly, mom and daddy, if that's her mom and daddy, because I don't, she don't really look like them to me. But all three of them look goofy, so she could be. But the, no siblings, she the only child. I don't think we really heard from any other family members. Um, 
We don't know if anything they told us about Carly's situation is true. We don't know if that was her boyfriend. We don't know if that was her parents. We don't know if that's their life. However, what they did tell us is that her Carly parents, you know, was doing real good. They had it going on. All right, middle class, lower upper cl- upper class. So you got a profession. He has a profession, highly respected in the community and everything. And everybody been showing up for your daughter. When m- most other black girls ain't gonna get none of that. Okay, you're gonna fight to get them to put out a. Uh, a missing report. Are you really gonna? When did YouTube? This is my second time noticing that. When did YouTube start playing screensavers? Hmm. I saw that yesterday, but I didn't really pay no attention. I thought maybe it was a little commercial or something. I kept on going. But I'm looking at this and they rotating screen savers. And we didn't do that. And I didn't even update that thing. So, I don't know. You think Carly and her, Carly's mother and father is going to come on TV? Knowing they not, they can't be slow guys. They can't be slow. Like, you listen to Kanye you be like people are just confused they're like oh i think he's dumb but you know he said to have a high iq and i'm saying said to because i'm likely to believe it i think he's intelligent i think he's very creative and i think he's super talented right um but we don't know if anything is true right so there's that but with all that, when Kanye sit down and talk, it's kind of like, uh, sometimes he sounds like he's saying something smart, but then sometimes he sounds like he might be on the spectrum. So it's a little bit uh, in the air. I don't think he should be doing interviews. He, there's nothing he need to be talking about. Just go back there and produce music, clothes, whatever you're doing. That's it. Nope, but they he's put in front of us for a reason. So was Kylie's parents. You know good and hell well. As goofy as y'all asses is looking. You still got sense enough to know. We didn't buy that story. So when your daughter came back. You also know we got sense enough to know. When she came in the house. Y'all knew whether or not she was lying or not. That's your daughter. So regardless of what we knew you knew you knew she was lying but you still chose to come on the news sit down do an interview and not only just tell y'all that you know this did happen to her you know you're gonna elaborate you're gonna answer questions and you know, when the lady asks, do you think somebody is still or out there looking for her? Is she in danger? Or do you think she put up a fight? Or whatever the hell that is, they ask her, how the hell did you two just start randomly scrolling wallpaper? Screensaver. That was never a feature or a setting. I mean, it looks really good, too. It looks really good colors popping the the freaking the quality of it is good but i'm mad that it's just there all of a sudden it wasn't something that i chose for it to be there like and this is this is where we at you have no control all right so you give everybody the option to do whatever they want to do to you it's on you you want to run from this dude and let him pop you out <laughs> or you want to be able to make better choices including you know you pop him first but you better get it together because it's weird out here yeah back to carly shit she's why would her parents come out here and do that 
And then the dad looking even more. First of all, they slow. All three of them, short bus shorties. All right, but you want me to think they, they up there, huh? Okay, we'll try. The mama, when they looking for her, she likes her food. Okay, you're not slim. Neither is Carly. Why you giving ammo? Well, first of all, why are you giving ammo? Secondly, what? Why would that even be some? It doesn't. It doesn't make any like intelligence wise. It doesn't make any sense to throw that in there. Y'all outside. She, is she supposed to be freshly missing? Oh, if she's out there and she and you know they're describing what she had. Oh, she and she had, she ordered food for me and she ordered food for herself and uh, I don't know. She maybe she ordered food for somebody else too because one of the, I think her mom's food wasn't ready or something like that. I don't know, but at any rate, she was saying that her she told her she was gonna let her have her food. Okay, you could have said because she's very sweet and giving like that because you want to paint her as that type for whoever messing with her. Like, come on, man. She was about to get her mama her own food. Like, she's really a nice girl. She'll give you anything. Don't, like, maybe you want to see her as human. You know, that that makes sense. But if we know we know how she love her food. That sounds like some old... Ah, that just sound like a old Aunt your mama stereotypish. They told me to say this dumbass shit, cause none of this shit is real. We making a fool out of ourselves, and we really don't care. Like Obama drinking fucking water and talking about this is Flint water. I'm talking about some shit like that. Cause why you gonna come and sit again in the interview? And, and fake like your daughter really got kid. The mama crying and everybody's picking on her and pushing her and she need more time. And now, so now you advocating for her. You like leave her alone, let her go tell the police what happened when she ready. It, a whole crime. She was gone. Her and a baby. You know, she, do do they forget she said it was a white baby? I mean, we got all that going on. She go back, go home. Police say we need a statement. We need to understand what's going on. This, it, it, where's the baby? Is there some people we need to go find? And like nothing. She she's just refusing to talk about it at all. Why would they do that? Because who's messing with them after that? I mean, in real life, you got. Everybody out there looking for your daughter. You know she was lying. You could have just not did the interview. They didn't have to come on TV and say she she was really kidnapped and she just needs some time. Like what the fuck? Call the police. Tell them that. Why would you get on TV? That because it wasn't for them. This shit was that was for us. That was for us. All that dumb shit. It it was. Because the the impact that it has, it's prices that make all the sense in the world. Why would somebody in their right mind, again, I get it. To me, they short but shorty. So, ugh. but you making it through life real good. Your daughter psh, up here, psh, you know, and they, I mean, you don't get that. This just like Kanye. Do you, y'all can keep saying he's slow. He whatever the hell you want to say just it don't matter if you don't understand him you, you're not gonna understand everybody but you're not ever putting out like he putting out you're not your mind don't work like that so it's not gonna work like that and work like to your approval in other areas that's not how that shit go most multi-talented people are they you know they 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 can be uh, come off as off to people who cares you can't do what I, I can do 
<laughs> you can't do that. Right? You want me to be more concerned about doing whatever that is you want me to do? No, that thing. That shit would be boring. You you wouldn't even want to be here. If your mind operated like other people's. Because that's not who you are. So it makes sense. But you all always got the most to say. But in their situation, like, hold on. This ain't no Kanye rant. This is just dumb shit after dumb shit. Like, what? So when you come out here and you do this, who you looking in the face and saying, well, you know, if you, I know y'all understand. If it was your child, you just never know what you get. There is absolutely nothing because you, you already showed these people. We don't got no respect for nobody. It's only about us. They not jiving with you no more. So you done lost all that you spent your life trying to build, as they said in the interview when they was talking about, you know, how they built this life so they can have this and that. And that meant what we saw. Everybody showing up for Carly. That picture was painted. It literally happened. What? How? How was that? Oh, if we want to question that, then uh, duh, because they are members of the community. They have good money this is a town of people who they gonna show up that one makes sense oh okay so this is also a group of people that respect each other too right because how far i mean a little cover up a little cover up a little protection a little extra time for johnny to, you know cool as a parent, I can't even judge you. You know, I can imagine, you know, that conversation going like that. I can't even judge you because, uh, you know, when when you're in that bracket anyway, they try to protect you. They try to cover up. They try to fix it. But you're not going to come on TV knowing good and hell well. Your daughter done made all that up. She done made it and, and ain't good at it. You know how good y'all are at lying. And I... It, there's no way you're not going to tell me Carly didn't know she was bad at lying and her parents didn't know that they were bad at lying. Unless the mama really is the ringleader and she was like, we can do it. <laughs> she got them convinced because she she had some dead giveaways on her, but she was the closest. And it's just like, lady, why are you even sitting here doing all that with your head down? Both of you. Why are you doing all that? Like, your daughter was lying. Why don't y'all just keep quiet? Put your lawyer up there. Have him be like, you know what lawyers say. And then take your daughter downtown and y'all figure that shit out. Why are you going to come on here and lie? Did, no, don't none of it make no sense. Then she got three lawyers in court where when she go back. She needed the whole entire firm there. All three, she, but look, go back and watch that doggone video when Car, uh, Carly got her sentencing. Look at her attorneys again. She had a white man, a little, oh, she had an older white man. She had a black man and she had a black woman. All up there with her, being her attorney. Okay, and her sentencing was just it, it it was just another way to say you know, basically, hmm, I guess you did okay job, but <laughs> they're not gonna I don't even know what to say, but y'all better start paying attention and not think with your feelings because this you you want a whole nother you in a whole nother situation and you can ponder about what I said about Carly. You can ponder about uh, Kanye or whatever. You know what you just saw. <laughs> you can't ponder about that. You saw that. It's real. You saw that. And y'all see it and hear about it all the time. All the time. 
these dudes out here tripping you that sensitive if you that sensitive <laughs> if you that sensitive that you can't move past whatever your issue is and and get into acceptance and just say you're gonna be a better person take your butt to the gym and figure that part out because no <laughs> no no walking up to her just shooting her in the head talking about you will be in trouble like <laughs> and then just watching her and knowing that if she's not gonna turn around and shoot his ass up like what the hell you you see what kind of dude you was dealing with what there's outside of that you don't got no excuse I don't care if you don't, you ain't getting no wig for six months and no nails, no none of that. Money is not the problem. <laughs> Money is not the problem when you need to protect yourself. That, that wig shit ain't for you anyway. <laughs> you doing that to get other people to accept you as a version of yourself that you're not even at. That when your wig is split uh, and then what? So we don't care about that whack ass wig shit. That's part of the problem. Don't let these dudes get you because they're going to get you. Peace. Oh, and yeah, hit that like button.